Hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, you caught me red-handed. Check it out. Look at all these uh, huckleberries. I found a great patch here. So uh, huckleberries are one of the delicacies of the inland Pacific Northwest. I think they occur in other parts of the country, but we've got them here, and, and man, these are great. Uh, this is the first ones we've seen of the season. So here, get a close-up here and check these out. So they're kind of like blueberries, but they only grow wild. You can't cultivate them, and they're absolutely delicious. I should be putting these in a bag, but I just want to keep eating them as I get them. These things are so high in vitamins and antioxidants. I had a bunch of uh, gas station chicken gizzards today, so I think this will counteract any of the uh, negative effects of that fried chicken gizzard. Let's take a look and see if there's any more. You never know when these things are going to pop up. Where are they going to pop up? Usually in higher elevations. Holy cow, check this out. Here's a, a great patch. And when you find them, you just start picking. The leaves are kind of hard to identify <clears throat> when they don't have the berries on them, but you, you get a, a feel for it after you've done it for a while. So here's some real nice uh, mature ones. Good size and, oh man, these are great. So we'll usually pick these things and in a couple hours you can get several gallons when you find a, a good rich spot like what we have here and then we can freeze them you can jar them you can can them you can do all kinds of stuff we're actually still eating some frozen uh, huckleberries that we picked last year and i would put those on my oatmeal every morning just really uh really delicious when you go looking for huckleberries a great way to start out is just drive down some quiet country roads some forest roads and you'll often see them just right alongside the road and if you find a bunch of them alongside the road that's a good place to park and then start moving your way up into the woods and maybe you'll find more more patches of them. Until the huckleberries come out in, in late spring, early summer, it's kind of hard to identify them. I mean, this is, you know, kind of like what the bush looks like, but it varies as well. They can look a little bit different and there's a lot of bushes that look like this. Uh, the best way to identify them is once you've actually found some with the huckleberries on it. And then remember that spot. If you find a bush like this, odds are there's gonna be more huckleberry bushes in the area. And you want to get them when they're nice plump size like this. Here's a, a one that's um, not quite ready yet. You can see that it's a little bit uh, reddish. Now some huckleberries are actually red even when they're mature. But from this bush you can see the mature ones are going to be this dark purple like that. So you can eat that but it's just going to be a little bit uh, tart. It won't be as, uh, as flavorful. As far as uh, other berries that might look like huckleberries, it's pretty easy to distinguish between real huckleberries and other stuff. Here, come take a look at this over here. So here's a, some sort of bush um, with red berries on it. These are definitely not huckleberries. You would never see huckleberries on quite this looking bush, and, and those are really bright red. Um, I don't know. Plus, this bush is, uh, is too tall. Huckleberry bushes will generally just be maybe about uh, a few feet off the ground. If you see something really tall like that, you can discard that. So check this out. This is definitely not a huckleberry because it's it's not round. It's more bean shapes and it's pretty easy to distinguish this between a, a huckleberry which is going to be more round or more uh, more oval. So I believe this is a, a twin berry. One half is kind of eaten but oops. Yeah, there. But you'll usually find these in uh, in pairs of two. So here's an example of an immature bush. These huckleberries will be ready in uh, oh I don't know maybe a uh, a week or something like that. This is a pretty small bush, but I just wanted to point out what they look like when they're not quite ripe. Here's one that's a little more ripe, just a little tiny one. Um, so if you find some bushes like this, a whole bunch of them, keep track of them. Go back every few days. You don't want to wait too long because you're competing with all of the other creatures that want to eat these things. The deer and the little animals and bears and other uh, two-legged uh, huckleberry hunters as well. So another way to find huckleberry bushes is keep your eyes open for uh, wild rose bushes. Here's a wild rose bush. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves on it. Wherever you see a lot of these, you'll you'll often see huckleberries and vice versa. Around huckleberries, you'll also see uh, leaves like this. This is a very characteristic leaf, and this is a thimbleberry bush. They always occur around huckleberries and and vice versa. Here's some uh, not mature yet thimbleberries. When they're mature, they're going to be uh, red, they'll look like a raspberry, and they're really tasty on their own. Um, they, bloom, uh, they they mature at different times, so there's 
kind of difficult to pick a whole bunch of them for jam or things like that. But Come check this out. Here's a great example of all the different uh, bushes in the area. So these are huckleberries. There's a great mature huckleberry. Here's an immature huckleberry. So that would be great to pick. Uh, let's see, here's another one that's, that's good to pick. Oh, here's a really nice one. That's a good, uh, I'm gonna eat that one right now. Hmm, that's a good size. So the huckleberries will have leaves kind of like this. They're a couple feet off the ground, probably no more than three feet off the ground. Now check this out. Right next to us, here's a, a bush and some berries that one might think are huckleberries, but those are not huckleberries. Oh, here's a, uh, another thimbleberry bush right here. So these are really easy to spot, these very characteristic uh, looking uh, leaves right here. And there's the immature thimbleberry that's gonna turn red like a raspberry pretty soon. And then those are fun to pick and eat when you're picking the huckleberries. They don't uh, keep very long, so you really don't wanna store them unless you're gonna can them or, or, or jar them, but they're just fun to pick and eat as you go along. Yeah, let's see, oh, here's a whole bunch of uh, huckleberries over here. So these are all, not really mature yet. And it might be that this is just a variety that stays a little more red. This could very well be a, a mature berry. Hmm. Yeah, actually it tastes pretty good. Sometimes they'll just uh, um, finish with that color, whereas this one here is, is not mature. Uh, we found a uh, wild currants bush. These are real characteristic with that leaf. And here's the the currants, this is a, a, a black currant. There's different varieties, different colors. Uh, currants are very delicious, make uh, jams. From what I hear, they're healthy for uh, moderating blood pressure. Um, now you can see the difference between a huckleberry and a currant. Huckleberry is gonna be, have that open sort of pockmark there. And the currant is gonna look like that. What I wanna point out is when you're looking for huckleberries, um, eventually you'll kind of develop an eye for it and you're just going to see them everywhere. But sometimes you can be staring directly at them and you just don't see them. So you want to move your angles around, uh, you know, go walk over to one side and then look at things from a different perspective. So like these, I didn't see these uh, a couple feet over there, but as I came around here, now all of a sudden we can see a whole uh, bush going on here. These are not really mature yet. Um, here's some really immature ones. So they're going to be this kind of a hard green berry when they're in that uh, hey, check state. Check this out. This is a, a good example of if you're driving down the road, walking down the road, this is what a, a bunch of huckleberry shrubs, bushes will look like as you're going along. Here's, here's a bunch of them right here. And very characteristic, a bunch of uh, little small leaves like that. There's some more over here and basically we're, I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but we're surrounded by all kinds of uh, Huckleberry bushes here. So when you see that, it's a good time to park the car or stop where you're at and head up into the woods and just keep walking along and hopefully you'll luck out and find a big patch. And boy, I'll tell you, after you've been picking these things all day long, you'll go home and take a shower because you're completely covered in huckleberry juice and your face is gonna be full of huckleberry juice from eating huckleberries. And when you close your eyes that night and fall asleep early after all of the hard work you've done in the woods, you're literally gonna see Huckleberries everywhere. It's uh, it's a funny phenomenon. You get these uh, huckleberry eyes. That